What is going on, guys? We are back with another video today. It is week four going up against the Dallas Cowboys. Of course, we're going to have a little bit of slider changes, I think. We're just going to keep changing them. It's kind of similar to Flyers last year. Season one, pretty good feel. Season two, seems really easy. So we're going to we're gonna keep changing these sliders. And honestly, I don't know what we can do because last time this happened, we had no answer. It's probably going to be the same. However... Let's go to week four. It's going to be ironic because we're going against a really tough roster, so we're probably going to suck. Uh, unfortunately, no uh, breakout again. We do have two injury return policies here. Do we want to get our money back or not? Uh, for Kalichi, it's a two-week. For Thaddeus, it's a three-week. Oliver's playing well. I'm just going to say no to both because then Oliver will get uh, more XP anyways. So, you know, that works out there. And then as far as Kalichi Assembly, we need him for the rest of the season rather than uh, right now. So Lamont is going to start again in his place. Let's take a look at the Player of the Week award. Terry McLaurin might have had an award here. Dwayne Haskins, back-to-back -back weeks. He's, he's tearing up the league right now. One interception on three games played. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, but of course, week four, we're going to need some help because uh, even though they're one and two, they're the Cowboys, and they're our division rivals. So, yikes. That's a bit of a yikes. I'm not going to lie, but I have faith. And you want to know why I have faith? Because every time someone likes the video or they subscribe, they follow me on Twitter at Jerome P. Care, or check out my second channel, P. Care Plays, or follow me on Twitch.tv slash Jerome P. Care, an angel gets their wings. It doesn't help us at all in this situation, but they do. Okay? Sell out. That's it. <laughs> uh, we'll take a look at the roster. We have some ups upgrades. Most likely, we'll have more after we do training. And that's pretty much that. Let me know if you guys really want to see training again, because I kind of just left it out, because I feel like people don't really care, and the intros are getting a bit long. So, Upright is going to leave training out from now on. Porter Gustin, though, had a sack last week. He's actually doing pretty well in replacing uh, the injured Chase Young. So, as long as that continues, I have no issues there. And let's get ready for our very first loss of the season. Let's go. As far as sliders go, though, for gameplay, this is what we're rocking for anyone asking. They're like, hey, I like your gameplay. I kind of dislike my gameplay lately, so I'm going to up this a pretty dramatic amount here. And it may cause us to lose the game. I'll just be honest. I'm just going to be honest about it. Let's go. Let's go waste more time in the intro because we have so much more to look at. Demarcus Lawrence, uh, I'm going to commit to slowing him down. Of course, he has kind of been on the decline, but he's still a pretty talented guy, so I'm definitely not going to take him too lightly, especially with injuries to our offensive linemen. We also do have these upgrades. And another thing is, if there's any draft classes you guys like for the 2022 draft, let me know in the comment section below, or if you're watching the stream right now, because, uh, of course, this is a stream version let me know, because I would like to do another real-life class if you guys are interested. Justin Ross, not a bad upgrade. He's uh, looking really good right now, and I'm going to be honest. I know we're not supposed to, like, look. I'm almost certain he has Superstar, because he is upgrading at a pretty fast rate. I will say, though, Chuba Hubbard, he's upgrading pretty fast, too. They might both be Superstar. I don't know, but I think they might be. I'm not going to lie. Uh, we have a couple more upgrades. Josh Oliver, 72 overall. Is Luke Green back already? Oh, my God. I never see speed upgrades for tight ends, but plus two to catching, plus one to agility, one to catch in traffic, break, tackle, and juke move, two to block, finesse, one to short, route, stiff arm, and a pass block power. Not a bad upgrade. Honestly, Thaddeus could lose the job here. He might lose the job. Let's go route runner for Emmanuel Hall. He's now a 75 overall. Uh, speed upgrade. 95. Oh, my Lord. We literally have Randy Moss benched. I, can you believe it? 79 overall for Dion Dawkins. Not a bad upgrade, it would have seemed. And yeah, it was very good, actually. Solid upgrade. And then Mr. Cole Holcomb uh, was the replacement for Luke Green. I don't know if that's going to be the case here. Because once again, I think Luke is fine. It might sound weird, but Watermelon is good, dude. But looking at week four, I would love to see McCarthy throw that playbook uh, play sheet down a bunch. So if that's the case, I'll be happy. Keep on doing it. Dak Prescott, of course, healthy here in Season 2. Ready to uh, have a redemption season. Fuller with a jump over. Zeke will probably do that a lot to us. 
It's going to be a tough one. No Chase Young going up against this offensive line is going to be a problem. Honestly, I think this is going to be a Jonathan Allen game. I think it's going to come down to Jonathan Allen having a big game for us to apply some pressure and make it easier on that defense to cover the crazy amount of wide receiving talent they have on this team. And then we have the two inside linebackers going to have a freaking long night going against Mr. Zeke Elliott. At least, hopefully, for us, the tight end position doesn't look too strong for them. Of course, last week, Terry McLaurin kind of got scammed by his own quarterback for player of the week, but obviously 206 with three touchdowns. It's still really good and still really impressive, and he's well on his way to becoming a superstar X-Factor already in my eyes. He is because he is playing out of his mind. Let's get on down to the field. Week one is long gone. It's quarter one. That's the one I was thinking about. We do get to kick the ball. I believe we got to kick the ball last week as well. Kicking the ball is just nice. I will say uh, Dwayne Haskins probably disagrees because he's got to watch his defense just get torn up, and then he's got to make a you know a touchdown tying drive himself. So the pressure is actually probably really high for someone like him. Dak Prescott, pretty good start to the season. It is three weeks in though. We moved everyone over because it's probably going to be to that side, and Duran kind of pushes him that way. Green pushes him back the other way, and then Duran ultimately gets him at the end. It was a long process, but we got him, and everyone's happy. Kind of. We're not going to pass rush. Ruben Foster, kind of a one-on-one -on -one tackle, of course. Landon Collins kind of recovered, got up, and helped him out a little bit. Third and seven. Not a bad start for the defense. We're still going to look with the quote-unquote run heavy look. Uh, Gustin's kind of fast. I'd rather have him in coverage anytime we can versus the other way around. And Fuller is going to get burned here. CD Lamb all the way to the 37-yard line. Fuller, you can't be getting burned. I know. Ah! My eyes! End it. Please. Did we do it? Please. Stop. I did not need that in my life. Backing up with Collins. Who is this? Gustin. Good play, dude. All right, Matthew Ioannidis. Let's make a play on the inside. Oh, there you go. He's chasing Dak down and Dak. I mean, just absolutely sold. He made such an amazing play and then misses the throw. It was across his body, but he's got to set up better than that or something because that was bad. And it's barely going to be up for the field goal. Don't know who Stevens is, but Jesus, they might need a new kicker. <laughs> Remember that time we had good blocking on special teams? Yeah, me neither. Dwayne Haskins, 12 touchdowns, one pick, 1,000 yards through three games. Nice little throw inside. Sims trying to lower the shoulder on Chidobi Awuzie. Nice. It's going to be Gibson once again, this time on the uh, also the inside zone, I believe. And he's going to find a lot more room this time. Gains about six. All right, Chuba Hubbard, the man who has been real, you know, I mean, dangerous, but hasn't really had a big breakout game yet. Trying to run over a guy, and he had him. But I think uh, the guy got a little bit of help. It's going to be a third in one situation. Looking at a read option is dangerous because Lawrence is not going to get burned, right? Late handoff. Try to cut it left. Could not get enough time. We still get the five-yarder. Right, Hubbard going to get a lot of help with the fullback running through. Uh, maybe not, actually, because he missed completely. We gained about four on the play, I believe. Three, four play uh, yards for Chuba, who has honestly not had a great season so far. A lot of touchdowns, like we said, but as far as uh, the yards go, could be better. Underneath look, and he misses, but Gibson with the recovery. What a play. Nice. Right to the 44-yard line, a first down here would pretty much mean points, but third and three from the 44. We need a key block from the fullback. We got a little too cute with it. Maybe try to get a little bit more than we needed. Got to just get the first there. It's a fourth and one situation. I think you go for this. Option look. We're changing that completely. They just do not want to stop Gibson on this play, I suppose. And he falls down on Roulier, but a first down's a first down. Am I right? We are also going to go with the streak now in this play because they do not look like they want to cover it. Although I will say there's no one really open first glance and they came with a blitz. So quick throw. Didn't gain anything. Lost stuff, but we did not lose the ball. And that's the main thing you do not want to lose. Double move inside. Ross going to secure it cleanly for a gain of 12. The inside 
absolutely left wide open. Sims to the right, McLaurin on the left with the wheel. Look like they're gonna bring extra here. To the outside, a little underthrown, and I honestly thought Leighton Van Dredge was catching that, but Sims with the play to the six. Oliver back of the end zone. Oh, that's, that's tough. And that's pass interference. That was very close to pass interference either way, but I guess when that's the case, just let it play out, and Hubbard taken out of the three. Really good defense for the Cowboys here. You know, we had a couple of plays, maybe broken plays, where we got lucky to extend the drive. This could be a touch on a Gibson. They're looking a little vulnerable here. And he gets it. Barely, barely athletic enough. But barely or not, that's a touchdown on Jalen Smith. All right, this O-line is definitely a problem, and Zeke is going to utilize that as he absolutely runs over Ronald Darby. But hey, Ronald Darby got up. No hard feelings. Slow him down. The job is to not allow a touchdown in that spot. And guess what? He helped to not allow that. On the outside, Porter. Porter Gustin with back-to-back -back games with a sack. The man has been really impressive. And we do have him on a couple of years on the team. So whether you know he's even plays much at all in the future, gotta love the effort coming in for Mr. Chase Young. Not, not an easy set of shoes to fill. Halfback dive. We got a play action look. Maybe could get to Sims, but it's gonna take Chuba. We got to go right after Layton. They had the back door covered with uh, Mr. Hargrove. Sims has a shot. Ross has a shot. Karen, no shot. Ah. I just can't throw that across. I mean, I maybe we stood in the pocket, but I really thought we needed to roll out. Look at that route. Oh, my. Justin Ross with a masterful route there. Gets the first down. Oh, they're going to challenge. Okay, maybe. Maybe he's out. I don't know. Oh, he's easily in. How is that even close? Why would you challenge that? McLaurin. I don't really like the, the setup plays. You really don't have much going for yourself here. Thank God we got it off. We almost sold hard. Sims all the way down to the 26. An absolute blown play. Can't really blame Jalen, though. If he doesn't cover the running back, it's a touchdown. Instead, it's a 20-some yard throw underneath. I just cannot believe he was that open. Inside Hubbard. Wow, how are we getting grabbed there by Tristan Hill? Ross might be the best look. I couldn't trust it. And I'm selling here. Terry McLaurin's going to be short. And normally I would like to go for this, but a fourth and two, I think you take your field goal. We're taking our field goal. Fourth and two, this is the smart call. As long as we hit it, this will guarantee us no worse than a tie at halftime. From the 39 yard line, they're gonna run. Oh, they didn't. I did not think it was gonna be a block and release. Oh my lord. Is that Green's first hit stick of the season? Can't even remember, but what a freaking hit. Damn it, Zeke. Matthew Ionitis. I mean, he's not really winning. They have a good line. Like they're doubling Matthew, it seems. And I mean, even if they didn't, they got Connor Williams there, man. This line is so good across the board. Oh, come on, Green. Uh oh. Landing good, solid tackle to the 15-yard line. Sweat with the blitz. Amari's been kind of locked up. Just going to leave everything on how it is. Cut across. Green. Redeems himself a little bit, but it's still a huge gain of about seven on the play. To the back of the end zone. Huge hit by Fuller. Would like to see him try to go up for it. He should have had more athleticism than Pollard in that situation, but... It is what it is. It's not a touchdown. That's the main goal. Oh, how does CD hold on to that? To the one. Going with the... Oh. And back of the end zone wide open. Not much we could have done there. Run commit on first goal. I mean, I figure... Whoa! Don't take Apke with you there, pal. But yeah, as far as... Uh, what they should have done. Running the ball with Zeke is not a bad call in general. But trying to waste a little bit of clock on top of it is also, you know, part of it. Terry McLaurin on the inside, not having as good of a game as last week by any means. Oliver to the outside, will stay in, but I'm not too worried about the clock yet. Once again, we go into half tide. It's not the worst thing that can happen. I'll show you the worst thing that can happen in a few minutes. Just wait for me to make a bad read. Ooh, child. A little behind him. We might have had uh, Ross, if it was even him, a little wide open behind him. 
Let's actually just run this base. I actually kind of like it. Chuba! Look at Chuba go! Time out. What a play, dude. The actual acceleration of a god. All right, screen pass. We could dump it off to Oliver if it's red. It's not red. He is naked here. However, the blocks don't really develop. We're going to take it out of bounds. Not a bad play at all. And we are still driving, which is the second main thing that matters. Terry McLaurin's a little deep. And he holds on. He's going to call a timeout. What a throw and catch. Maybe a little bit too high of a throw, but what a catch at least. Who's this going to be? Terry McLaurin. That is a tough man to cover. Let's get Oliver blocking. Can we get Oliver on the other side? Yeah, I'd rather have Oliver blocking Lawrence's side. Although sometimes it happens where the block he'll just be blocking on his own. And that's exactly what happens. Interesting decision there. We gained four. I don't know if I like that. All right, Justin. Another short play. Terry up to the line. We do have one timeout. Now we go in a little bit deeper here, Terry. That's a really good throw, and it's caught. I mean, these throws have been so insane from Dwayne Hoskins. I mean, there's just nothing you could do. There really just is nothing you could do in that play. It's either going to be caught for a touchdown, or it's going to be knocked out. Simply put, there's no pick at all. No chance at all. What a throw, and it's going to give us the seven-point lead at halftime. Back everyone up. This is probably just going to be like a run-the-ball-out kind of situation. And it is, but they're still going to call timeouts. Well, especially with a, a sick first down like that. We'll just run man coverage until uh, the drive is over. Got a little excited there, didn't you, uh, Dak? You will have a chance to throw this into the end zone, though. Could dump it off to Elliot. Did he catch that? It's very close. Interesting decision. Not a bad throw if he had more than five seconds. However, they had five seconds. <laughs> not a good throw, not a good decision at all. As you can see here, 17 to 10, 158 passing yards to 70 passing yards. I mean, we're doubling them pretty much in yards. And we are almost doubling them in points, which is good. Plus, I believe we get ball here. We do. So, start of the second half, a little bit less of a high-scoring game, which I definitely appreciate. But still, Dwayne has been putting on a show. Pure accuracy show. Oh, look at Hubbard. Take that lane, my guy. Was going to follow the blocks, but it was dead on impact. We just barely cut it back left. All right, Terry. You're getting this ball right off snap. There you go. Good play call. Sims with a block and a half. Block two players in one. Dwayne absolutely nailing every throw here. Perfectly. Worst case scenario, you know, probably just get a knock away. Or he just catches the thing. I'd even go possession, but he he's hes a rookie that knows his stuff. Let's just put it that way. He knows his stuff. Could get Oliver, and nah, we'll just take the safer look to Hubbard. I don't know how to juke this year. I am so bad. And we're going to get Ross over here. Hopefully, it's next to Oliver. It's not, so this is going to be kind of an interceptor. It's probably not good for us. Whatever. Hike it anyways. Terry McLaurin on the inside. Could have had a chance to hit us with Jalen there. Good pickup. And we go low to uh, Terry McLaurin. That's going to be, you know, it took a long time to get that throw off. Good extension. Kind of was just looking at my options, and I felt like McLaurin was the best. But somebody went back to cover the uh, James Oliver coming across the middle. So put it as safe as possible through it at the last possible moment. And ultimately, we take the two-possession lead rather than, you know, maybe a game-changing pick six. Cowboys need a spark somewhere because their offense really isn't giving it. Our offense has been very precise, but we've been lacking in the big plays today, and uh, we've been a little inconsistent at times, specifically in the ground game. And, wow, really good D by Matthew Ioannidis on Zeke, who just had the rookie Bayadaz, well, the once-upon-a-time rookie, sophomore year Bayadaz, uh, all over him. Porter Gustin off the edge. Can't get it done. Landon, I need a hit stick there. Amari was still kind of, you know, gathering the catch a little bit. And we do not have the edge. Super contained. Ruben. Huge tackle. We can trick them and still get back in perfect coverage. Oh. And we went to the right because that was where uh, the majority of the lane was. But he followed the blocks. 
didn't really work out for him. So I think we made the right call. We just got a little unlucky that, you know, he made the wrong call. Troy Apke. And Dak really should just run here. Maybe not. Is that going to be over the line? What's the flag? Illegal forward pass. That is going to come back. And unfortunately for them and Dak, that's going to be a punt. Game-changing footwork. If he gets that ball behind the line, you know, throw off in behind the line, that's that's way different. Huge difference. Ooh, Patterson trying, but, you know, the blocks have been a little inconsistent. Up the middle, halfback dive. I mean, halfback dive seems to be, like, the main play that Hubbard's in on, and he usually gets pretty good uh, yardage on. Oh, I didn't know he's going to miss. I mean, we might have had a chance to just outgun him. We'll say that, you know, Hubbard hasn't played well today necessarily, but yards per carry has improved quite a bit. And they are ready for all screens ahead. Gibson with the patient running. Gets some blocks and gains a first down. Cowboys O-line falling apart a little bit in this quarter. Can't lie. I'm going to go for that shot wheel, see if we can get, uh, well, the wheel. Oh, what a setup. Freaking plays, and that throw is just going to go wildly out. Ross on the drag could be open. Oh, there's no one on Oliver at all. A little bit of a low throw, but it was pretty safe. Didn't gun it. All right, Curl's combo. Let's go with a uh, shot to the corner with Ross. If it's favorable, maybe we'll take it. Uh-oh, and thank God. If it was for uh, Oliver being there, I think it would have caused a pick, honestly, because I, I think Leighton ran over. And he just didn't see it in time, and he just barely got a hand to it. Uh oh. It's a good try. Their, their pass rush isn't really the thing that's hurting us. It's their coverage. Their coverage has been really good this quarter. Hell, it's been pretty decent all game, but this quarter specifically, Terry McLaurin could be our look. There is nobody open. Throw it away. Get a potential field goal, but more importantly, at least a really good punt. All right, Tressway, let's see the leg. Okay, not a great punt <laughs> to the 13-yard line. There was a bit of wind there. I forgot about it, considering we're in Dallas and there's wind. But okay, sure. Some strong wind going through the glass. Ruben pops him. Oh, my. We got there. Perfect timing. Everything was clean as can be. Almost ended the game with that one. And I am really glad we left CD Lamb open for four yards because the slant was looking a little dire. That's why we kind of shaded that way. Matthew Ioannidis, get in there. Oh, he's gone. Damn. There is nobody in sight, and Dak is going to slide after a gain of 25 yards. Inside, Luke Green going to take up a block, but that's not going to be enough. Thank God Neil hit him because we missed hard. What Landon? No, I'm even going to lie. That was bad. All right, Green. Should be a run. Their O-line is just crushing, and uh-oh, Zeke. Is making it hard on his gains. Nine on the play. 102 yards. This is easily the worst we've done against a running back, but mainly an offensive line. And that should have been picked. We completely pulled a Troy Palamalu on that play. As they had us. They had us over top. But the quicker, more safe read at that point was the underneath look. And we had the bait. That was a pick six. That was the game sealer, but instead the game is open now, and Zeke is going to continue running. However, really good teamwork because he's short. Yikes. Of course, they missed a field goal earlier, and oh my lord, Stefan's really wanted to make it two because he almost missed that one. If it comes down to the Cowboys needing a field goal for more than 42 yards, I mean, I don't know if I feel good if I'm a Cowboys fan. For the 26-yard line, Hubbard with the, uh, the shadows coming in hard here. Hubbard inside. There you go. Oh, he's still going. This could be a blown up play for them. Or not. Well, I mean, then, you know, they did well of it. At least it wasn't what I thought was going to happen. I thought we were going to pump fake and hand it off right as, like, Leighton was going to come in and hammer us. All right, Gibson, you have anything planned for us? In look for Sims. Could have the corners. I don't like it. This is our bad decision. Good D by Ross to just get in there. Could you imagine we caught that with that hand, one-hander? All right, they're only down by seven, but I, just, I still would rather play defense than throw a pick six, <laughs> believe it or not. We're going to go with a screen. We've run a few screens today, and that one had the most potential. 
So Gibson was a really good try there. Didn't mean to spin, but we were trying to spin out of the way of Jalen. Is there someone over there? There's got to be someone playing defense over there. Yeah, I was about to say. Like, why else we play defense? An accurate ball, but I think it was a little bit of pressure. Maybe been a little inaccurate there. Porter Gustin on Ezekiel Elliott. Oh, Lord. To the outside. Uh-oh, Dax in trouble. Porter across the field with a great heads-up play. Two-yard sack. I mean, Dak might have had a chance to run again. Porter, my guy. And they might be willing to just not care about this drive. They, I think they might be willing to. And they are. But Zeke is going to try his best. And he almost got away. There you go. That's a tough throw. We got to try to run the ball here. Just don't make a mistake, honestly. Gibson on the inside. Oh, my Lord. Jalen just sold worse than any of us at safety. Right, Haskins on the read. Look at him run. I, that's so scary. Every time he looks like he's just going to jump into a freaking player. Inside, Hubbard. And once again, no juke moves at all from us, but we get to the four. As long as we don't turn over the ball, this will be four straight wins. Of course, a tough, tough game here, and... Uh, don't want to take it too lightly still, even to this moment. Oh my, what a perfect throw by Dwayne Haskins. Inside, Hubbard is short. I think we're going to do a classic little fake audible. Quick in there. Oh, I try to do it. Oh, I love doing that. It's one of my favorite QB sneaks in the league. Of course, they're going to go for the field goal because they did... They did make the play, and they stopped us. But when you, like, you look like you're still making checks and audibles at the line, and then as soon as you, like, kind of get done with that, you hike it. Damn, really good job by their D-line to stop us. But with only three and a half minutes remaining, it's a bit of a task for Dallas. All right, Matthew Ioannidis, once again, not having much success against Zach Allen. Zach Allen, Zach Martin. And he's trying. And that's going to be the game. Keanu Neal just called game. Oh, my. You knew it was going to happen sooner or later, and that is why you get yourself a Keanu Neal. Oh, my. I want to see that hit again. Boom. And then he's like, you know what? I'm going to pick the thing up. I'm going to take it into the end zone, and I'm going to have my team starting off at 4-0. That's a pretty good right tackle, if I'm not mistaken. That's Lel Collins, isn't it? And there goes Keanu Neal. That could be player of the week right there. That could be player of the week right there. A forced fumble, a recovery, a touchdown, a pick. Very, very good stuff there. Closing the game out. We win the game. 30-13. to 13. I mean, it was close all the way through. It's just uh, the Cowboys never were able to, I don't even think, gain the lead, were they? I don't think they were. No, they, they got three out the first. Outside of the first drive, I don't think they ever lead led in the game, did they? I'm trying to think. I can't remember if there was it might have been fourteen to ten at one point, but of course after fourteen to ten they never they never took the lead. So rushing yards almost more than their passing yards. They just their offense just wasn't good. It just wasn't. Just wasn't good at all. All right, so looking at the stat line, of course, Dwayne Haskins definitely not player of the week worthy like the uh, last two weeks, but still a, a precise game. Where, you know, he just played well. Hubbard, a bit better of a game in the second half. Uh, Gibson was decent throughout. Haskins had a big read up. Dak had a couple of lanes. He only took one of them, though. As far as receiving goes, just not a good game in general, honestly. Looking at the defensive stats. Sack totals, two for Porter Gustin. I don't, I don't know where this guy came from, but man, oh man. What a story. One pick for Keanu Neal. He had a forced fumble recovery and a touchdown like we mentioned before. And then Mr. Dusty Hopkins, 3-4-3 three, three in the game, field goal-wise. And that will conclude week four. Of course, those last two games were the games we were most scared about. And there were definitely times in both games where it looked a little worrisome, especially with uh, the defensive line failing against uh, Dallas for most of it. Thankfully, Zeke just did not like first downs very much. Didn't like taking the easy lane. Uh, but like I said, 4-0, no, not bad. Raiders, a team that can definitely surprise you. Did we even talk? Yeah, we did talk about this. Did his best to sh shut us down. He didn't do anything, honestly. Lawrence was almost a non-factor in that game outside of the run game. 
But yeah, that's that's an impressive win. However, like I said, the Raiders, they have the potential to just shock anyone, you know? Right now, we're in a hot spot, and let's see if we can keep that going. But anyways, that is going to be week four of the Washington football team franchise. Maybe there'll be a stream tonight on twitch.tv slash I have no idea what. Maybe a rebuild. But anyways, thanks for watching as always. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya.